into my kitchen. It's absolutely freezing here today in Melbourne. So I've actually decided to show you how to make butternut pumpkin soup. Okay guys, now if you don't want to do all the hard work, um, you know, with chopping up the pumpkin, uh, you just get someone with a bit of muscle and get them to get in there and chop it all up and throw it in the, um, in the oven tray. So Sebastian! <laughs> What I like to do with the pumpkin is actually scoop out um, this little section here with the seeds. Now, there's two things that you can actually do with it. One of them is actually dry the seeds. So if you actually want to grow your own vegetables, this is actually perfect for that. So basically you just pull it all out and you, you sort of squeeze out all the pumpkin seeds. I'm actually going to dry this lot um, so we can actually put it the, the seeds in the garden uh, to grow our own pumpkins when they're in season. The second thing you can actually do is to clean the pumpkin seeds, place them onto a baking tray, sprinkle with fine salt and cook them till the golden brown. There are so many health benefits for these nuts and they're called pepitas. Olive oil onto the pumpkin. and a pinch of salt and I've you I'm using some oregano just a sprinkle not too much pack some pepper on there I'll pop this into the oven until it's nicely cooked and soft Pop up the sweet potato I'm gonna roast this in the oven too same with the carrot and the same with the onion. You season it with your herbs and your salt and pepper. Rub in some um, olive oil. Now get this in the oven. We've got the sweet potato, the carrots, the onion, that's all ready. And the pumpkins all ready. Now all you've got to do, basically, just get the skin off. You can use your knife, you can peel it off, it's however you want to do it. Just peel it off, it should be quite easy. There you go, peel it off. And just grab your food processor and pop it all in the food processor. Same with the carrots, the onion, get it all in there. And you get your pumpkin as well. Do the same sort of thing with the pumpkin. Just get all the skin off. You can use a knife as well. It's nice and easy. Get it all in there. Here we go. So I'll continue on peeling these. Right, so I've got everything in there. Right, so pulse until it's all. Okay, I'm actually going to pop in some homemade vegetable stock I've got here. Just pour a little bit in there. Oh, let's see how that looks. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. What I'm going to do is pop it, the pumpkin mix into the pan. I'll put the vegetable stock in there. Okay, so I'm going to pop in cracked pepper. Now I'm actually going to put an awful lot of it in. So it just adds that bit of an extra kick. Okay, give it a good old stir. Now, if you've still got a little bit of lumpy bits, that's okay. All you do is get your hand blender, or you can pop it back into the food processor. You can put a dollop of cream in here. I'm actually using sour cream. 
or you can actually wait till you serve it in the bowl and then, you know, add the dollop. It's nice and pureed, look at that. A nice golden, rich color, look at that. Nice, yummy pumpkin soup. Then we get the next one. There we go. Do is get the sour cream. Nice dollop in the middle. Beautiful. I'm going to serve this with crusty bread. Get a nice French stick or any leftover French sticks you have. Now, if you can't make your own, you can actually go buy to a, go to a bakery and buy a nice French stick. So, what you do, nice. I don't know, medium sized slices. So the bread's all sliced, so basically you get your tray, evenly place the bread onto the tray. And you get some olive oil here. Now, you just get the olive oil over the bread. It's like a simple way of making garlic bread and make it extra crunchy and crispy so you can enjoy that in your soup. So I'll pop it in the oven for about five, 10 Here's minutes. Garlic bread. So basically you get the clove of garlic, get the roasted bread with the olive oil and just rub it, the garlic on top of the bread and that will give you the flavor of garlic bread. Ouch, and it's hot. <laughs> there we go. Plate. All right, guys, now it's time for the verdict. All right, try out the sour cream booze. Okay. Oh, that's nice and thick, Mum. Yeah. Good. All right, with sour cream. Is it nice for the sour cream? I'll tell you yeah. in a second. Very nice. So basically, folks, all you have to do is swirl it around in the soup if you want to mix it in. I like to separate it a little bit because not everybody wants the cream on the pumpkin really soup. I think that's really nice. It's nice with the sour cream too, but it's just as nice on its own. Hold on, I'll give you my- Oh my yes. This one. It's nice. Yeah? Oh, I like that. Oh, fantastic. It's nice. I prefer it over the garlic bread, to be honest. It's Beautiful. Nice and, it's nice and zingy. It's good. Mm, nice and that's fun. what I thought. All right, folks, here you go. So. Thank you. Bye. Bye.